I'm a start. I have stage four cancer. Pause for laughter. No, so it's true. I promise I'm not making this up. I actually do have stage four cancer. This is not a sick joke. It's a it's a sick joke. But I promise I'm gonna send you all my biopsy. It's true. So just for tonight, I invite all of you. Just unclench collectively your jaws and your butts and just join me in my favorite coping mechanism, which is making fun of things that happen to me. Because cancer after the initial shock, if you really think about it, if you're in my position, it's kind of absurd. Like, it gets to be kind of funny. Like, for most of my life, I always thought that death was this huge mystery, you know? Like, I don't know when I'm going to die. Like, you know, will it be the coronavirus? Will I get hit by a car? Will I oppose the government and suddenly disappear, you know? <laughs> you know? True story, when that uh, big earthquake happened a couple of months ago, as I was running down the condo, I was like, I was like, I'm going to die here, I'm going to die. But there are some perks to being sick. Like, for example, my boyfriend, who is right over there. My boyfriend can never break up with me. Like, never. I, I used to be like 30 pounds skinnier, but since I got sick, just got really fat, and he's still like, nobody wants to be the guy that breaks up with a cancer patient, so. <laughs> You're in it for the long run. <laughs> I've had cancer for long enough that I've actually kept a mental list of things that I hate people telling me. And the first one is, Kumusta ka? And that sounds really strange, but that's only because all of you still get the regular version of Kumusta ka? I get the Kumusta ka? Like with the head tilt and the eyebrows Kumusta ka? And it's such a loaded question Like how do I answer that? Do they want me to tell them Really like the truth? Gusto ba nila magdrama ako dito sa mini-stop? Iiyak ako ganyan So my advice Is if you ask anybody How they are And if they're going through a tough time Maybe say how are you today? Because the today adds a really good qualifier. It's easier for me to answer, right? So like, oh, today I'm feeling optimistic. Oh, today parang medyo pagod. Or, you know, today just crushed by the paralyzing anxiety of impending death and the meaninglessness of life. Just, you know, really regular Friday night. The second one that I hate people telling me is, you're so brave. <laughs> Because to me, guys, bravery is like jumping out of a plane. I was pushed out of the plane. I have no choice, okay? Not consensual, you know? And the third one, which is related, is also, you inspire me. I don't feel inspiring. You know, inspiring is like Maria Ressa, Greta Thunberg, or the guy who tells Bongbong Marcos, dude, move on, talo ka na, okay na. That guy is inspiring. I'm kidding, he has some friends. Um, I instead spend all of my energy at the stoplight when the beggars knock at the car window, I'm not making eye contact. I'm just like, Oh, she but the Christmas thing and go signal. I don't want to make eye contact. And that's not inspiring. Like, I am not an inspiring person. <laughs> and the fourth one only just applies to people I just met. And it's always, oh my god, you have cancer? My ex's dog's seventh grade teacher died of cancer. <laughs> and I was like, how do I, how do I respond to that? So I'm like, do you want me to pass them on a message? <laughs> my club, Bakame, or something? <laughs> but, the last one that only one time has ever happened to me, and true story, somebody said it to my face, and I quote, college friend, you were such a good friend, I never forget you. Promise, <laughs> <laughs>